Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, the sun can be stifling during the summer months here in the Lone Star State, but there's one profession where getting close to the flames isn't frowned upon. So when we heard about a Texas woman who wasn't afraid of fire, we found our way down to the coastal bend to get a closer look. Fun in the sun is the name of the game when down on the Texas coast. And some folks are even lucky enough to live with the ocean in sight. It's a really good place to live if you like the beach and you like fishing and you like just being by the water. Amber Frazier is a realtor in Corpus who helps folks find their perfect place near La Playa. You can find a nice house on the island for around one hundred and fifty to $200,000. Now being a realtor is a good gig, but Amber has another career that's a bit more exciting. Very much more interesting. As the night falls, Amber has a transformation into Stella Moon, the Fire Mermaid. Things have changed. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you look different now. Yes. Does My nightlife attire for fire dancing. Every Saturday night during the summer, you'll find Amber, I mean, Stella Moon, at Bronze Beach Carts in Port Aransas, putting on a show that puts people in a trance. She adds an exciting flair to the night. How could you beat that? You generated a lot of excitement around here. Why are we as humans so mesmerized by fire? I don't know. I honestly have not, I don't know the answer to that question, but I know it's for a reason. It's just mesmerizing. Stella lights the state on fire, literally. And while we're used to hot temps in Texas, it's a whole other world to see her dance so close to the flames. I get little burns here and there, but that's just the name of the game. Play with fire, you're bound to get burned. And you've experienced that? Yes, I have. <laughs> did that make you stop or did it make you reconsider what you were doing when that happened? No way. I just I learned to get better and better and now I don't burn myself at all. After 10 years of fire dancing, Stella shows off her moves here at Bronze and brings her show anywhere that needs to see the light. She's performed on stage with rock legends and been all over the world, bringing her fire to the festivals. It's like people have money burning in their pockets to see her. It keeps me going, it keeps me flowing, and everybody knows, they're like, oh my God, that's Stella Moon, the Fire Mermaid. And it just really makes me happy. It makes my soul really, really happy. It brings joy to people. It's, it's such a unique trade and a unique performance. What starts out as fire dancing quickly escalates to fire hula hooping fire throwing, and fire whipping. What's your favorite trick to perform? My favorite trick is my fire whip. It's wild. That crack of the whip, I don't care if you're just locked in the show, it always just make, it'll make you jump. Is there any fire trick that you have not mastered that drives you nuts? Nope. Not at all? Nope. Is there? Is I work there... really hard and I practice all the time. It's just all about practice. Practice makes perfect. When you watch it, are you ever worried? A few times, yeah. Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, I'm not worried about her playing with fire. She's been doing it a long time. I think she's super safe about it. Um, she's got a lot of people helping her, and so I, I think ultimately she's an entertainer. There's no smoke and mirrors here, just the sight of fire, dancing in ways it's not supposed to. And if your ears are burning, chances are it's from the dull, ripping hum of the combustion cutting through the air. When I'm fire dancing, I don't see anything or anybody around me. It's strictly on the fire and the sound of the fire. It's just calming. So the reason why most people sit by the fire, not twirl it. Yep. <laughs> and, and gaze into the fire. <laughs> she's so good at it that she can get close to people and do, do all the tricks that she's doing. And she knows she's in control. What's it like to be able to do what you do down here on the coast, by the beach and by the water? I mean, it's a dream come true. I love it. I mean, I get to bring joy to people's lives and it's literally mesmerizing. So it just makes me so happy. Like, it's changed my life completely. I don't know of anywhere else in Texas and I was born and raised here that offers that kind of experience. I haven't been anywhere else where you can see something of that quality, that amazing. What's more fun, being in real estate or being a fire dancer? Absolutely being a fire dancer. But... No, no fire dancing in any houses though. No, maybe at an open house. <laughs> yeah. She's definitely the best fire dancing real estate agent in the state of Texas, hands down. <laughs> well, we're 